A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verses 24 to 30. The passage is taken from the Message Version of the Bible. He told another story. God's kingdom is like a farmer who planted good seed in his field. That night, while his hired men were asleep, his enemy sowed thistles all through the wheat and slipped away before dawn. When the first green shoots appeared and the grain began to form, the thistles showed up too. The farm hands came to the farmer and said, Master, that was clean seed you planted, wasn't it? Where did these thistles come from? He answered, Some enemy did this. The farm hands asked, Should we weed out the thistles? He said, No. If you weed the thistles, you'll pull up the wheat too. Let them grow together until harvest time. Then I'll instruct the harvesters to pull up the thistles and tie them in bundles for the fire, then gather the wheat and put it in the barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to a short reflection according to St. Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 23. Patience, Hope and Mercy In today's Gospel, there are two contrasting attitudes, humans feeling annoyed and irritated, and God demonstrating patience. In the parable of the weeds and wheat, the landowner's servants are eager to take immediate action and exhibit impatience, while the landowner himself is willing to wait calmly. Consequently, through the patient demeanor of the landowner, Jesus reveals the image of God, who waits patiently. Pope Francis explains the parable and says, God knows how to wait. Gently and with compassion, he observes the field of each person's life. He perceives the dirt and the wrongdoing far more clearly than we do, but he also recognizes the potential for good and patiently anticipates its growth. Our God is a patient Father, who always waits for us and waits with his merciful heart to welcome us, to forgive us. The field owner's attitude is that of hope, grounded in the certainty that evil has neither the first nor the last say. It is because of the enduring hope of God that allows us to mature and, despite a sinful nature with many transgressions, ultimately become good. But be careful, evangelical patience is not indifference to evil, one must not confuse good and evil. No one is completely evil or entirely bad. Despite displaying evil behaviors, there is some good in each of us. The negative behaviors we exhibit are like weeds influenced by the evil in our lives. However, the undesirable attitudes and behaviors will be consumed by the fire of God's love and forgiveness. Let us ask Our Lady, Our Mother, to help us to grow in patience, in hope and in mercy with all brothers and sisters.